Hi, it's Payam here. Um, I'm going to answer a few questions um, uh, that uh, have been left underneath my videos. But more importantly, we're going to talk, touch on interest rate and interest rate, perceived interest rate rises, what I've seen in the market, and there are some real signs of movement in the market. So I want to talk to you about that. I'm going to give you some inside track of what's going on here. So like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the video. Good morning, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. It's the 21st of the 10th, 2021. Um, I thought I'll answer a few questions that uh, people have been posting under the, my videos um, and a, f a couple of comments, really. So uh, the first one is, is actually a very, a very good one. I'm a first time buyer. Can I get a mortgage if I've set up my company in the last year? The answer in theory is yes, but you will need to have filed one year's accounts. So that's really important. So if you filed your one year's accounts, depending on which lender you can go with, if you're self-employed, there are some lenders that will work off the latest year's figures or one year's accounts. Uh, some lenders will work off the salary and dividends. Others will work off the um, net profits and salary. Um, and if you are not a limited company and just a sole trader, then they will just work off your net profit. So in theory, yes, it will need to be a full year's accounts, a full year of trading and also uh, one year's accounts filed. Uh, Vanit Bathla, uh, this is a good one. Hello, Payam. I applied for a mortgage directly with the bank after getting uh, getting knowledge from your videos. I got my house keys just a few weeks ago. Thank you so much for the knowledge. You see, this works, guys. It works. You don't have to go via mortgage broker. You don't have to go via me. I've put this information out there for everybody. At the end of the day, there are thousands and thousands of mortgage brokers, and there are thousands and thousands, millions of clients. I also run a very small business. I don't need to get all of this stuff. You know, I don't need to get every case out there. What I've tried to do is put this information out there, and if you can think you can do it yourself, great, do it yourself. If you need someone to do it, then obviously we're one of them, but there are lots of other mortgage brokers. So I'm very pleased for you. I'm so glad we've managed to help you a little bit through these videos. Um, right, uh, great. Um, so I've got Harry Stick here. Great entertaining debate. I think inflation is cracking in. Interest rates are set by the Bank of England and they're going up. A slowdown due to affordability is coming. I'm expecting to pay twice as much of my mortgage in a few years' time. Fair enough, Harry. I think um, I'm going to do a, actually I'm going to do it on this video. I think we'll we'll touch on that topic uh, next. Um, and this brings us nicely to the next comment, Mr. M. Howard nine, um, eight. Sorry, Mr. M. Howard one eight one. Could you do a video on the current situation surrounding the potential interest rate rise due to inflation? I'm stuck in this situation where I cannot remortgage because of the six months rule. Um, I have at least four months left to wait. I would like to know your thoughts. Right. Um, first of all, thank you very much for leaving a comment. Really appreciate it. Um, secondly, um, the six months rule, I'll explain that. But basically, generally, is if you've bought a house... Um, a lot of the lenders stipulate that you're not allowed to refinance within six months. Now, there are some lenders that will allow that. And some of them are actually high street. Certainly on the residential side, I've got a number of lenders that will do not have this six months rule. So don't be fooled by that. There are some lenders that will allow you to refinance within six months. Okay. And there are also lenders on the, uh, on the buy to let side. But what you will find on the buy to let side, they're not as competitive as the residential lenders okay so you know you might you know some people tend to wait for six months simply because if you wait six months you'll get better rates but not so much on the residential side so bear that in mind right let's get to the main topic and the main topic is interest rates are going up are they going to go up what's happening um well i was talking to richard my business partner yesterday and we do obviously we, we do quotes every day for clients and mortgages and stuff so one thing we did notice that lenders rates have actually gone up uh, by about 10 basis points. So what, that, what I mean by that is, let's say the interest rate was 1.21 last week. It's now 1.31. Okay, so 10 basis points. And I've noticed that we've noticed fixed rates, whether it's a five year fixed or two year fixed, they've gone up. Now, the reason for that is swap rates, which is basically the, the lending rates where lenders will lend to each other and how you, you, you get access to money. They've actually shot up, certainly on the five-year fixed. So what that tells us is the lenders are nervous about interest rate rises. Um, we've also seen, uh, this is where, 
when we do this all the time, we notice trends, okay? And one of the trends uh, that I've noticed in the last week or two is instead of lenders coming out with very competitive, and don't get me wrong, guys, rates are really competitive. They're awesome, okay? I'm absolutely gutted. I fixed into my mortgage two years ago, and I thought that was a blinding deal, okay? And they were a lot lower than what I fixed at, and I'm, I think, fixed for another three years, okay? So rates are awesome, but we have noticed a little bit of a shift. When lenders get nervous, they still want business, okay? So they've still got competitive products out there, but they want to attract more business, okay? Now, usually, the, 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 the way they will do that is they pull out really good rates, they'll get that business, and then maybe they, if they want to stem the flow, they'll stop that business. What I've noticed by a couple of the lenders, main high street lenders, Barclays, Halifax, two to mention, is they've tweaked their affordability models okay, in the last week, week and a half. So rather than say, give us more business because we've got a very, very good rate, they've said, we've got a good rate, however, we'll lend you more. Or there's a product switch, okay, for certain types of clients, it's not for everybody, okay? So what that means is they're being more specific, more strategic in what type of business they want, firstly, um, what type of clients they're looking for, but also they're willing to give you more, which is more than just rate. What that tells me is we're going through, we're going to be expecting some rate rises. Um, not only because the Bank of England, all the eco economists out there believe because of inflation. Basically, inflation is just going wild, guys, honestly. Um, forget about the normal sort of price of food and stuff. My builder told me uh, about a month ago, he said he used to get a sheet of plyboard for £16.99. It's now £43. Pounds. £43 pounds to £16.99. So what's that doing to all the material, all the building work, or everything that's been done at the moment, okay? Um, price of, just things like price of rubbish removal, okay? If you've had to go and dispose something at the Spaceway or at, you know, your rubbish disposable place, or you've had to call someone to get a skip or, or get removed, rubbish removed, you'll find out how things have gone up, okay? So all of these things means, I mean, forget about my my energy supplier, um, People's Energy, they went bust. They've now, I'm, I'm now a BT customer, a BT, British Gas customer now, they've had to sell it on. So they're talking about all of these companies going bust. So we're gonna be hit, unfortunately, from lots of different angles. Uh, and one of the angles will be an interest rate rise. I don't think it's going to be an extreme. I, I don't think the government wants to particularly do this. Obviously, the Bank of England uh, is, is in charge of it, but I don't think they want to do it, okay? I think they may have to be forced into it simply because there is just so much inflation. And granted, the Federal Reserves and the, uh, and the, the, uh, the Bank of England think this is going to be a short, term inflation just because of everybody's opening up again there's a material shortage there's a haulage shortage you know all of those things are adding uh, which are not fundamentals okay um, however all of those things are not as short term as you're led to believe you know to train an HTV driver to get them working you know there's going to be it's going to take a while okay and, and for them to work and actually stay in their jobs that's going to take a while to lay a um, cable for more electricity around the the ocean that's going to take a while to to set up uh, you know i don't know wind farms or or, or or solar farms or nuclear power station they take a while yes you could do uh, you could turn, you know, the, the energy crisis, you know, there could be geopolitical issues with Russia and maybe they can turn the tap on again. However, I don't think that's, you know, that's on the horizon. So there are, yes, there are not fundamental issues, but there are still not as short term as you believe. I think there are a few years, okay? So um, we can't sustain the level of pressure that we've got uh, right now and I think interest rates will rise I think they will rise slowly so 0 0.25 and then another quarter percent and another quarter percent and another quarter percent I think that you know they're not gonna it's not gonna be extreme don't run to the bank now um, but I think you know gonna see a uh, stepped approach I don't think the government wants to do it I, I think we're in a very weak situation right now we've had 
We've had obviously COVID, we've had Brexit, we've had this shortage of everything and you know it's gonna it's gonna be a shortage of fuel, to shortage of this, shortage of that, shortage of there's gonna we're gonna go through a phase of lots of different shortages and it's gonna hop from various things. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be a shortage of funding uh, because the last crash was to do with funding. Okay, it was a shortage of funding. Lenders didn't want to lend to each other or the uh, you know and that's why the governments had to step in. Um, and it will be interesting to see what this interest rate rise, which will come, will do to uh, market confidence, a generation of people who have never, um, you know, have, have bought houses and sold houses under an unusual emergency type uh, situation, you know, 1% interest rate, half a percent interest rate. So... What's going to what's going to happen when you start going into the you know two percent three percent so forth? So what will that do? Yes, actual mortgages have been higher, okay, um, certainly on the buy to let side. But you know, guys, you know when I've bought my first house, it was five and a half percent, I think, interest rate was. So you know, there's a whole generation who have not seen interest rates, who have not experienced having to um, manage portfolios if you're a buy to let landlord on higher rates lower margins okay so you know um we've already seen a lot of people that were that had hmo properties that were bills were included well absolutely they've been stung because the price of gas and electricity has gone up so um it's uh it's going to be interesting i think yes interest rates will go up slowly um uh, I think it'll be measured so it doesn't panic everybody. So it's a good time to look to remortgage, look to go to a long-term fixed, um, to protect yourself. Um, maybe go with a lender that will um, that's that that's, has a product transfer strategy. So when your five-year fixed is up, you can then uh, swap to a new product without having to go through the affordability and the legals and all the bits and pieces. This is the time to to think about long-term. Anyway, guys, I hope you're well. Like and subscribe, share as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.